my right again, he goes by the name of Mr. Fernando Ramos. That's right. And if you want to see more about Fernando, please click that subscribe button. Check out the subscription page. Check out the links that will lead to his page. And also hit that like button and leave a comment to hear us to tell us what you think. And my English is off right now. But anyways, <laughs> going back to what we're talking about. Uh, so, Fernando, since you're a very honest person, I want you to explain um, how is the Latin culture perceived here in Taiwan? Uh, is the Spanish language uh, just as popular as English? Uh, do you see a lot of Taiwanese people that have an interest in learning the Spanish language? Um, of course, you know, the Spanish style of dancing. Uh, do you see like the nightlife? Do you see like any Latin influence? Uh, is it getting better? Is it getting worse? What's your opinion? Well, I think that, you know, when you talk about the Latin culture, like, I think that most Taiwanese have a very, like, you know, like a similar opinion that is that we're very, you know, warm, we're like very passionate, we like to dance, we like to party. And that's kind of like the general consensus whenever, you know, you talk to Taiwanese people, that's what they think about us. Uh, I do think that uh, it's changing a little bit. I think that there's a lot of, like, Latin people that are doing great stuff that is actually, you know, trying to, like, change perspectives. Uh, I personally know like a couple of them, like uh, I have some friends from Honduras. Uh, one of them has a company that sells coffee from mm -hmm. Honduras, uh, Circle Coffee, his name is Elias. Uh, I also have another friend from Ecuador that I'm kind of working with him part-time. Uh, he has a company that is called Expand Latin, mm -hmm. which brings like uh, products from Taiwan and China to Latin America. And he also have, helps uh, Latin American companies that wants to expand into Asia. And um, I can think of other examples. One of my good friends, uh, she has like a cooking restaurant, and she has been invited to like uh, many, many places, you know, to kind of show like the Latin cooking style. Mm -hmm. um, her restaurant is called Nini's Corner, and uh, you know, her food is great. And I think that all of those things uh, kind of like put us out there, you know. Right. Uh, like uh, personally, I get involved in a lot of activities uh, regarding like you know the Honduran Association, which I'm the president of. And we usually go and like we show our dances, we show our food, like uh, like uh, we usually have events. Like um, there's one uh, on the 24th of February that it's gonna it's called Carnival Taipei, and uh, it's gonna be filled with like different communities, like mostly Latin communities, people from Mexico, people from Guatemala, Ooh. and we're gonna be hosting like dances. We're gonna be like uh, we're trying to put together like uh, a soccer event, you know, like uh, girls uh, teams. And just to clarify, it's Guatemala, not guacamole. <laughs> All right, guys, so make that mistake. Yeah, so I think that, you know, like, they're getting to know us more, mm -hmm. and, and I think they like it. Like, uh, you know, like, uh, one thing that is very funny is because, like, uh, in this event that I'm talking about, like, we always uh, sell our traditional food, and one of our most famous foods is called baleada, which is made with red beans, but they're salty. Mm -hmm. And as many of you might know, in Taiwan, they don't eat salty beans, they eat them sweet. So whenever you tell them that it's salty, like, they, they just immediately, like, they don't want to try it maybe like they just see it and then they, they get surprised but once that they eat it like you know like it's, it's very it's very tasty for them and they come back and there was one guy that came like three times just to buy more and more and more and it's kind of like you know like it, it breaks like this uh, kind of like cultural barrier uh -huh. between us and them because they actually like our food they might not you know look at it the first time that they see it but like you know they, they end up liking it and I think that uh, it's, it's very important for, for the people that is here, you know, from different countries to try to break that bubble, not uh -huh. only Latins, but, you know, foreigners in general, uh -huh. and try to, you know, get together with more Taiwanese people, show them their food, show them their cultures, because that bre also breaks the Taiwanese bubble, and uh -huh. they also learn more about us, and they become more international, and, and that just leads to good things, you know, and like, uh, there's companies that end up like hiring foreigners. But there's also Taiwanese people that end up like opening companies with with people from you know foreign countries because they see that they're good people or they see that they're hardworking. So it's very important just not to you know kind of like close yourself into your circle of you know foreign friends, which is something that I see very often. Wow. But try to like uh, you know expand and open more because yeah they of course Taiwanese people have some things that we don't like. We have things that they don't like. But, you know, we're all humans and it's all about learning from each other and growing. So I, I would recommend people to do that. You know, as I, like I said, this is why I brought Fernando. He has all the information, very well informative, <laughs> very well detailed, very articulate, very, like, his grammar is, is superb. Actually, his grammar is better than mine because, like I said, this whole week has been exhausting. <laughs> it really has. And I told him I had 13 interviews. He is the 13th. And my, my interviews... Lucky 13. <laughs> 13, the lucky number. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. But uh, 
But Fernando, I want to say thank you again for being very honest. And we will be right back. All right, we are back. My name is A Max with the facts. Sitting to my right, he goes by the name of Mr. Fernando Ramos. That's right. And if you want to know more about the foreign community or about Mr. Fernando, please check out the subscription page, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and also leave a comment to my channel. Now, my last question I'm going to be asking you for today, Mr. Fernando, is is there anything else you want to share out there to the people who are deciding to move to Taiwan, visit Taiwan, study in Taiwan, you name it? What are the things that they should be aware of? Um, again, what are the benefits? Uh, what's like the first step for them to like really enjoy Taiwan? Like, what are some great tourist attractions? I don't know anything wise. Right now, like I said, I'm tired. My <laughs> my my level questionnaire is off. So for now, that's all on you. Go ahead. Well, I think that uh, it will depend on exactly what is the people planning to come and doing. I think that Taiwan uh, is a great country if you plan to study. I think that it's very convenient. Even thought one of the issues that probably like foreigners face and like that I definitely face is uh, you know the language barrier because Chinese is kind of very hard like it's probably one of the hardest languages that I have ever studied and uh, I think that you know that kind of like turns people off sometimes because you know like it's gonna be very hard to get by but actually Taiwan is very convenient like uh, the public system like you can use it without Chinese they actually put a lot of like instructions in English to make it more like accessible for the foreigners so um, that's something to be taken in consideration like uh, it's actually very friendly I think that people here the it's it's one of the most you know friendly people that I have ever met people is very helpful they always trying to help even if they don't understand what you're saying they will still try to help out mm -hmm. and uh, I think that that's uh, you know it, it's kind of like a great place to live I think like I said before it's very safe uh, you're not gonna have problems with healthcare. Uh, you're not gonna have problems with transportation. Uh, if anything, like uh, one thing that I would suggest people is to make the best of the times. Uh, I know that there's a lot of people that come here and you know to study or to like learn Chinese, and they don't use their time wisely. Like uh, you know, they. I'm not gonna say that partying is bad, but like that's not all that you're supposed to do while you're here. Taiwan has a lot of opportunities, and I think that if. People take, you know, some time, they work hard and they explore those opportunities, do internships, you know, uh, meet other people, go outside the bubble, like uh, like I was telling you before, like uh, some, some great things can happen for them. So I would say that, you know, use your time wisely, try to learn as much Chinese as you can. If you're working, take a look at regulations, uh, take a look at companies, like uh, before you actually move in, if you're actually coming just from that one job, you might want to be careful with that. To avoid you know any you know unpleasant situations in the future and uh, another thing that I will recommend people is that if they come into Taiwan they need to keep an open mind you know I, I heard a lot of people that complains uh, about Taiwanese culture or some behaviors or you know this and that but the thing is that when you come here you, you're supposed to adapt right you're supposed to adapt to adapt to them instead of just criticizing, attacking, just like, you know, oh, I don't like that they do this, oh, why they do that? You know, it's different cultures. Probably if a Taiwanese goes to your country, he's gonna have the same questions that, that you know, you probably have when you come here. So I think that, you know, leave the judgments aside, try to get to know them, try to understand them, stop criticizing, you know, the culture, because Taiwan is a very friendly country. I think that, you know, it's, it's, it's an amazing place to live and you know, it's just about giving it an opportunity and giving yourself an opportunity to discover this, you know, amazing island. All right. Now, uh, you know, even though he mentioned about don't waste your time, if you're an English teacher who has to work nine to five, or you're a YouTube vlogger like me, it doesn't count. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm talking about professional work. Yeah. You're safe. <laughs> All right, and also, guys, uh, we need a split because I see that there's too many people walking around looking at us, and sometimes they can be good, and sometimes they, they can't be good. But at least we're at least we've been famous for about what, 15 minutes. Yeah, probably. How does it feel to be famous <laughs> for 15? How, how does it feel to not have bad, your 15 not minutes? Bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So once again, guys, if you want to know more about Mr. Fernando, check out his links at the bottom. Uh, what are your links? Well, uh, I'm gonna provide you with my LinkedIn. It's a uh, Fernando Dot Ramos, like you know, ask my name. Uh, you can also check the website All Hands Taiwan. Uh, that's another you know initiative that we're supporting. And like uh, like I said, uh, that's a project to help people that is looking for jobs or that are looking to move from English teaching into other sources. 
and uh, you know we're trying to help as much people as we can and you can find a lot of resources there so I would really encourage you to check that out and um, I think that that will be for me all right no. and guys he's a special dude very intelligent <laughs> like I he already knows I'm tired right now I'm sleeping <laughs> Snoop Dogg effect all right here okay. we go Mr. Fernando thanks thank for the opportunity again. man very nice to meet you and once again, guys, my name is A. Max with the Facts. We have now seen the AWF series, and of course, we make the unknown. Known. That's right. Despacito. Nah, I'm not doing that. Peace. <laughs>